Hi, my name is Jennifer Jarlin. I'm Kane County's Recycling Coordinator. And I'm here today at Peck Farm in Geneva for Earth Day celebrations, where there's a number of people participating in different activities. I'm just representing the recycling office today and have a display here with uh, the three R's and more. Reduce, reuse, recycle, we've all heard. I also like to include number one, rethink, because that's the most important thing that we can do is really look at what we're purchasing and, and make different choices in order to be more uh, earth friendly. And so also uh, buying recycled content is a very, very important part of that whole cycle. If you recycle something and then it goes off to be turned into something else, that has recycled content, it's very important to support that whole system so that it keeps going round and round, especially paper products, because they're made out of trees if they're virgin fiber, but if they're made out of recycled paper fiber, we can re reuse it again and again. Also, composting is a very important aspect of that, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment, but I also wanted to point out that we have the new Kane County Recycles Green Guide out for this year, 2012-2013. It has a wealth of information in it about recycling in Kane County, everything you can recycle and when and where, and a couple of different articles with information. So you can find that online on our website and also at a variety of uh, village halls and uh, in, in different city centers in the county. I also have some information here that um, will soon be available on the website, if not already. The, a big topic today is hazardous waste and how to dispose of that properly, but also important is to think about how to avoid using toxic materials in your house in the first place. Things that have been very mainstream for a long time, but aren't necessarily something that you need to use to clean your house. And I have a list here that we've just created uh, of different alternatives with ingredients like vinegar and baking soda and things like that, things that you can use in your household that are much healthier for you and then you don't need to dispose of them in any special way. So that information will be available as well. So let's have a look at the compost bins that I have today as well. So, so compost um, bins are, are really easy to use because these are open bottomed, they don't have a bottom on them, and so they connect straight to the earth, you can in the back corner of your garden right on the ground, and then that allows, as you put your food scraps in and the leaves and everything mix it together, it allows all the microorganisms to come right up out of the earth, all the, and all of the, the little things that eat through the compost and turn it into compost, right up in there. And so this also comes with spikes so that you can stick it down to the ground. You're putting all your fresh ingredients in it and keeping it going. And then you let it rest. And you let it rest for about a month. And then you start a second one. And you put all your fresh ones in there and let that just sit and finish. And then you can use it on your garden. And you just spread it across the top of your plants and your flowers. And it, and it really is amazing. If you see pictures of, of gardens with compost and without compost, the flowers are four times bigger. You know, the vegetables are four times bigger. I want to talk a little bit about the importance of composting as well. Why do we want to keep our food scraps out of the landfill? Because of a couple of reasons. One, our, our food scraps and different organics like um, grass clippings and leaves and branches, things that are organic, that once we're alive and growing, if we put those into the landfill, especially if it's in a plastic bag, they get buried in the landfill, which is an anaerobic environment, meaning without oxygen, and instead of decomposing naturally like they would in a backyard compost bin, they rot. And when that happens, it creates a gas called methane. And I'm sure many of you have heard of methane. It is a greenhouse gas, very potent greenhouse gas, that is contributing to climate change on some scale. The number one human source of methane is coming from our organics in landfills. And so that is something that we can all do to make a real difference, is to compost in our backyard. And it just makes sense to compost. Why would we take all those wonderful nutrients in the food scraps and entomb them in a landfill when instead we could return those nutrients to the soil and then reapply that compost onto our vegetable gardens and onto our flowers to help them grow more healthy. It's just a closed loop cycle that makes a lot of sense. And so that's my main message for today, for Earth Day in honor of the Earth.